Hi, this is Gary with MacBoss.com. Let me show you how you can use the News app even if you're not into news. MacMOS is brought to you thanks to a great group of more than 2,000 supporters. Go to MacMOS.com slash Patreon. There you could read more about it, join us, and get exclusive content and course discounts. So your Mac comes with an app called News. And in it, you can read news from various different sources. Now, you may have ignored that app because maybe you're not into reading news. But note that you can highly customize the news app to only show articles from sources that you want to see. So you don't have to see world news or political news or anything like that. You can customize it to see only news for a specific topic. Like, for instance, if you're just into tech news or science news or maybe entertainment news, you could specifically just see that in the news app and nothing else. This could make the news app useful even if you're not into reading news. So to do this, you want to do a couple things. So when you first use the news app, if you haven't used it before, then you're just going to see some top stories from various different sources, and you're going to see a bunch of things in the sidebar, including suggestions. Now, if you want to turn this into a customized news reader that only shows news from specific sources, then what you need to do first is go to News and then Settings. And the first item here is Restrict Stories in Today. So the Today section you can see here on the left, if you turn this on, it's only going to show you stories from channels that you follow. If you have this off, what it's going to do is suggest stories. Now you could still customize things from there by liking stories or disliking stories, and then it will show you more or less of that kind of story. So you can definitely go that route. But if you do this, then it's not going to show you things unless you specifically select those sources. So now that we've got that turned on, let's get some sources here. So you could see here that following, I just have Apple News Spotlight. So let me control click, two finger click on a trackpad, right click on a mouse on that, and unfollow that. Now I'm going to add some more here by doing a search. So let's say I just want to follow tech news having to do with Apple. So let's search for Apple. And I'm going to then see stuff appear on the right. There's the top result. There's a topic called Apple. There's some stories today, more topics, and then channels. This is where I want to look. And I want to click on See More here to see the complete list. Now I want to select things that I'll be okay with seeing. So let's go and say, yeah, Wired. Let's do Mashable. Let's do Ars Technica, The Verge. There's some Mac and Apple specific sites like these. Let's add those and you can go through the list. You can always go back here and add more and even remove others. So now that I've added a bunch, you can see the ones I'm following here. So let's go ahead now and go back to today. And then you can see it's going to say checking for new stories and then it'll reload the page. Now sometimes this might take a few minutes for it to do or you just have to wait till the next time you use the news app. Or sometimes it happens right away. But you can see here, I'm only getting stories now from the sources that I chose. So now it's not showing me world news, for instance. It's not showing me financial news. It's just showing me news from these sources. It's like a custom RSS reader. But instead of RSS feeds, it's these special Apple News feeds. Now if you want to further customize what you see here on the left, there's always a special coverage section. But you can just click here to hide that. And at the bottom, you also see suggested. You can click here to hide that. So you can just see these basic areas here, which comes in handy to look at your history of the stories you've read, to look at stories that you've saved, for instance. You also then can go directly to a new source. So you can click here, and it's just going to show you articles from that one source. Now, what's the advantage to doing this over going to the website for that source? Well, first thing is aggregation. You're bringing together all of these new sources. You don't have to go to all these different websites. Second thing is that the news app is actually a really good reader. If you go into each article, it's very nice to be able to read the articles here with minimal advertising. And you can save the story from here as well. You also can adjust your view settings so you can zoom in and zoom out for customizing how big the text is. If you ever want to remove something from the list here on the left, you can control click, two finger click, or right click, and then unfollow the channel. Now I've removed everything here from following. And let's say instead of Apple News, I want to follow entertainment news just to have some light reading to take breaks throughout the day. So now I could go 
and do a search for entertainment. I can look and see channels here and I could follow various different channels like that. Go to see more and add more to it if I want. And when I'm happy with my selections here, going back to today, it should check for new stories and then refresh. And you can see now I've got a stress-free, fun entertainment newsreader. Of course, the number of sources that you can read really depends on whether you're a standard news user not paying anything or if you're using Apple's News Plus service. This is a subscription, but if you're like me, you're kind of getting it as a bonus when you use the Apple One subscription, which gets me lots of iCloud space, Apple TV Plus, and Apple Music. Oh, and here's a handy tip. If an article is in Apple News, but you happen to be reading it on the web, you can actually jump to the Apple News version of it. So here I am looking at an article, and if I go to the Share button and choose Open in News, we'll open the News app and go right to that article. And it's usually much nicer to read it here. But this only works if the article is actually available on Apple News. You could also go the opposite way. If you're reading an article and you're finding that something's missing from the article in the Apple News version, you can go to the Share button here and you can choose to open it in Safari like that and it takes you to the web version of it. I usually find when I want to share an article with somebody, it's better to actually go to the web version of it and then share that URL instead of assuming that they're going to read it in Apple News because you'll get an Apple News link if you share it from the News app. Now I know some people are going to ask about RSS feeds. and You can't add a raw RSS feed to Apple News. It's a shame you should be able to do that. Instead, you can only add news sources where the provider has actually registered with Apple News. It's actually fairly easy. I do it for MacMost and it's just giving them permission to use the RSS feed basically. So if your favorite news source isn't in Apple News, you may want to let them know that you'd like to see it there. Hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, click the thumbs up button below to let me know. I publish new tutorials each weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out.